Devotion is a first-person horror game created and developed by the Taiwanese company Red Candle Games. And Devotion is something that you may have already heard of due to a range of controversies that have plagued the game since its original release way back in February 2019. Now despite the original release dates being way back in February 2019, the game has not been available for the majority of this duration. During the first week of the game's release on Steam, Devotion smashed sales records and went on to sell over a million copies in only 7 days. And not just that, but the game was receiving great reviews from the media, with IGN Japan for instance rating the game 9.8 out of 10. And so Devotion was very much seen as a big cult hit, however unfortunately the game would quickly start to get caught up in a lot of controversies which would then see the game being pulled from sale and no longer being available to purchase. Now to properly understand the controversy it may be helpful to give some further context on the circumstances involved. As mentioned, the game has been developed by a Taiwanese company called Red Candle Games. And within Taiwan, there is quite a lot of regional conflict and tension between the region of Taiwan and then mainland China. The full scope of this conflict and tension is something that's going to be hard for a lot of Westerners to truly understand. But for a very brief summary, for many years Taiwan has long seeked independence from China. Whilst China on the other hand has maintained that Taiwan is a part of China and is no way a separate country and this is a sentiment that is also shared with a lot of the Chinese population. And so due to this political tension, issues and controversies stemming from this, it's something that you regularly hear about in the news. And this is something that quite a lot of people in both Taiwan as well as mainland China as well as the rest of Asia have quite strong opinions about. And so from this you should be able to get a general sense of some of these sentiments between the regional conflicts between Taiwan as well as mainland China. But then what ended up happening only a few days after the game was released on Steam back in February 2019 was that players discovered a texture within the game that had Chinese text saying that the Chinese leader is an idiot and also comparing him to Winnie the Pooh which is a meme that you may have seen floating around the internet already but is also a big meme over in China. However over in China this is something that is heavily censored on the Chinese internet by the Chinese government. For instance you may recall how for the promotion of the video game Kingdom Hearts 3 which didn't get a official release in mainland China, despite it not getting an official release, screenshots that show Winnie the Pooh in the game were censored on the Chinese internet so that you couldn't see Winnie the Pooh. And this is despite Kingdom Hearts 3 showing Winnie the Pooh not being a direct comparison between Winnie the Pooh and the Chinese leader, and it just being a game that features Winnie the Pooh himself. So this texture was discovered in the game only a few days after release, and this led to the game getting seriously review bombed over on Steam by Chinese users, who felt personally insulted that this texture was featured in the game. The game being review bombed led to its review score dropping from overwhelmingly positive to mostly negative. The developers would be quick to issue a statement apologizing that this texture was in the game and explained that this was only supposed to be a placeholder graphic, and how it was also something that they just found on the internet. They also then quickly issued a patch that removed it from the game. However, even following the offending texture being removed, other parts of the game's content started to get scrutinized. And there was some speculation that other parts of the game may contain controversial political messages. And then this was shortly followed by the game's publisher, Indievent, terminating their contracts with Red Candle Games. This then led to the game being completely removed from Steam and then never returning. And again, remember, this is a game that sold a million copies in only its first seven days and was achieving great review scores and became a big cult hit. Also prior to the game being removed, the game was already drawing quite a lot of comparisons between it and the game PT, which is another celebrated first person horror game which then got completely removed unless you already own a copy. And so following Devotion being removed, this just made the comparisons more similar. But yes, the game was released on Steam on February 19th 2019 and was then removed 7 days later on February 26th. Despite by this point losing their publisher, the decision to pull the game was a decision taken by Red Candle Games and was said to be to fix technical issues and to ensure that no other placeholder contents like this was left in the game. In a statement, Red Candle Games says, This is purely an accident and we have no intention for causing harm nor hatred. The game however received some big support from Taiwan's Vice Premier, who spoke out in defense of the game and said, Only in countries with democracy and freedom can creation be free from restrictions. And 
also on the Chinese social media website Weibo, all discussions surrounding the game Devotion was censored by the Chinese government, with posts containing the hashtag Devotion having hundreds of millions of views before the censorship. Also, Red Candle Games' Weibo account got blocked and has remained blocked ever since. Following the game being removed in February, the game didn't return. And then in July 2019, the Chinese government revoked the business license for the game's original publisher. And this is despite the publisher in the event severing their ties with Red Candle Games shortly after the controversy started. The documents issued to the publishers said that they were found guilty of engaging in illegal activities that endanger national security and social and public interest. And whilst it didn't specifically mention devotion, this seem like the only reason for the decision. And this is something that the publisher decided to not contest at all, which meant that their business was forced to shut down. And it's with this where you really get a sense of the power of the Chinese government over game publishers and developers. Now, in the event, the original publisher is based in mainland China, whilst Red Candle Games on the other hand are over in Taiwan. This means that Red Candle Games have a lot more protection than people over in the mainland. And as seen with in the event, all it took was this controversy for them to completely lose their business license and to be forced to shut down. And again, this is despite them severing all ties with Red Candle right after the incident started. This event then led to Red Candle Games issuing another apology and stating that they have no plans to re-release Devotion in the near future in order to prevent unnecessary misconceptions, but that they may consider re-releasing the game eventually if the public would be willing to view the game rationally. And then following this, not much was heard about Devotion for quite a while. However, some big news happened the following year in February 2020. This wasn't from Red Candle Games, however, but instead the Harvard Yenching Library, which is a library at Harvard University and is the largest Eastern Asian library maintained by an American university. The library announced that they will be keeping Devotion as well as the developer's previous game detention preserved at the library. This led to Red Candle Games issuing a statement saying, As game designers, never have we thought that our works could one day be added to its prestige collection. While we truly appreciate the recognition, we had also taken this opportunity to rethink the possibilities that our games could achieve. And so following this clearly big act of public support and approval, in June 2020, Red Candle announced that it will begin running pre-orders for a limited physical edition of the game, available only in Taiwan from June 8th to June 15th. And whilst that was only a limited run physical edition, at the end of 2020 on December 16th, Red Candle Games and GOG announced that the game would be available on GOG's store on December 18th. However, mysteriously, a few hours later, GOG issued a statement on Twitter which read, After receiving many messages from gamers, we have decided not to list the game in our store. And this is something that we've never really received any more information about. And what exactly led to this decision? Red Candle Games then issued a statement saying, Earlier, GOG has announced on its official Twitter, After receiving many messages from gamers, we have decided not to list the game in our store. Though regretful, but we are willing to understand and respect GOG's decision. For the players looking forward to Devotion's re-release, please accept our most sincere apology. This is a difficult predicament to overcome, but we won't stop striving. And this is a situation that caused a big uproar within the gaming community over the game's release being cancelled and over what could potentially be the reason for this. However, we now, more than two years after the game's original release, finally have some good news and it looks like the game is now available and hopefully here to stay. Only a few days ago, on March 15th, Red Canal Games announced that they have opened their own digital storefront to sell devotion to gamers all around the world. In their announcements, they also announced that their previous game detention will be available as well as all future projects and all games will be in a DRM-free format. And in their message, they said, we hope to provide a direct and simple purchasing channel for players who are interested in our games. And so with this, you can see Red Canal Games doing away with the publishers as well as the big storefronts like Steam and GOG and simply handling everything themselves. And so with this, hopefully there should be no more issues for Red Candle Games. Also, in case you weren't already aware, their previous game Detention has also gone on to achieve a lot of success on its own, with a live action movie adaption being created and released in September 2019 and distributed by Warner Brothers Taiwan. This movie adaption then went on to achieve a lot of success and critical acclaim, and it has received many awards as well. What are your thoughts about Devotion? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.